Mugisha, Mugis, 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 He was always regarded as useless, where Sam admitted that he behaves like an animal, and the mother was always worried about her one and only son, whom she says he came from heaven, and according to the mother, their life is changing because of her son. And for the first time, him and the mother tasted the cake. This is another update. When you think of your big goal, sometimes you start feeling overwhelmed. Why? Because big goals don't get achieved right away. Instead, you need to create mini goals to help excite you along the way. This way, you can be more goal-oriented and build a habit of being more effective. Celebrating your small wins will help you stay motivated through your journey. Plus, celebrating is always super fun. As he is becoming a familiar face to your screens on Afrimax English, Chanzimana Eli is having special visitors today. Together with a group of people who saw him on Afrimax English, this time they also chose to lend a hand in changing this family situation from worse to better. But first, they had a decent idea of celebrating these festive seasons with this family, hence bringing cakes, sodas, rice and others. For us, we are like a family. We are a group of people who aim at changing people's lives, more especially the vulnerable. And today, we wish to join forces with you. We saw this young man on Afrimax English, and we felt we should also support him and his family. We came here so as to celebrate with them festive seasons, hence telling them that they are not alone. We are thinking of them and we are also planning something big for them in the coming days. As you see, their house is old and we would like to build them a new good home. We aim at changing people's lives and we do this by contributing amongst ourselves, then reach out these people. Of course, these poor families. We believe that whatever you have, you can support someone outside here. Last time we were together when you handed me a lot of money and we took it to the bank and today you have surprised me with other friends whom I cannot manage to thank. I thank you very much for caring for people like us who are regarded as worthless by the society because of our poverty. But God cannot allow his people to suffer. I always say this, I wish that God would take these people and grant them his kingdom, 
for they are doing so much things for me. We used to sleep on this small mat and some dry grasses, which we collect then sleep. By now, I have got the mattress. I don't think I'll wake up today. Maybe I'll sleep until the next day. For sure, I cannot sleep on this thing for my first time, then remember to wake up. I'll never sleep on these grasses again, and instead, I'm going to burn them. As you can see, my boy can also notice there is something different. He has felt something unusual going on. He even got used to you. Remember at first, he saw you and ran away in the forest. But now, he welcomes you. You became friends. You have been blessings upon our lives. I used to eat beans leaves, but since the day you visited, life has changed completely. We now eat rice, posho, fruits and vegetables. Thank you so much once again. May the Heavenly Father see this and bless you. And I have been told, you are soon going to build me a new house. I will no longer live in this old one. As part of our agenda, we help people that never got access to a good life. People who have always been struggling with what to eat, how to survive. Briefly, people living under extreme poverty. When we saw her house, we had an idea within ourselves and concluded that we should build her a new house. We are doing this by January and we hope 2021 will start so good for her. Oh, may God bless you so much. To you all who keep on supporting me, may the Most High multiply seven times what you do to me. We had to let Sanzimana Eli cut the cake today together with his mom. As they said, it was their first time tasting on a cake. As long as it was their first time, we had to help them cutting the cake because they were kind of afraid. On her own words, this woman says that she did not know what she was cutting. On she said, she was guessing that this thing might be edible, though she had never taken a single bit of it. <coughs> They are very, very happy. And everyone who finds someone who shares with them in such holidays, they can be happy for sure. As I saw, Tanzimana Eli, he was so happy, though he doesn't talk. You can see how happy he was. He can see there are people who came to see him. And by the way, we also surprised him, which made us so happy. As we said, we are looking forward to building them a new house, as we told you before. They are living in an old house, and we hope to see them living in a new good-looking house. We have to build it as fast as possible in this January, so that by Feb, they will be living under a new house. That's our target.
Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. If a problem is fixable, if a situation is such that you can do something about it, then there is no need to worry. If it's not fixable, then there is no help in worrying. There is no benefit in worrying whatsoever. The two most powerful warriors are patience and time. Thank you for watching. I'm Elijah. This is Afrimax English. Remember to subscribe.